Hey guys, this is a strategy for Nactor and Totem on Black Ops. But first, I know what you're all thinking. Round 15. Yes, I know. This is a extremely hard map because obviously there's no juggernaut. So if you just make one little silly mistake, if you just slip your finger off your controller, then you're pretty much dead. So it's really hard to get to a high round. And I only got to round 16 on this try. And I don't really want to try it again for a while because I know I'll just go down well usually if I go down an early round on a map I just rage quit and just don't play it for a while you'll see my death at the end though how it went down but not many people actually know this but the spawn train is actually more effective in my opinion than the help room train so if you keep the help room door closed and run around like I'm doing now then it's there's well it's more safe even though it's still very risky because it's an actor and totem but obviously you've got the thunder gun to help you like what happened to me either on well several times this this game i had to blast my way out of um blockages where i've been trapped by the zombies but you can see here as i round them all up i shoot them as i go behind the sandbags there but you can literally only shoot them for two seconds or so before you have to run otherwise they'll get too close and beat you to death which they'll do instantly since you don't even have juggernaut and that's exactly how I went down in the end because I took too long shooting them which you'll see so you, well starting the strategy is extremely easy because there's only three rooms on this map it's all, all you need to do is go up to the well you don't even need to leave the first room because you don't need to get juggernaut but if you want to get a gun I'd recommend just opening the top door uh, hanging out by the help room until I'd say round six or seven, maybe with a bar, a Thompson, or even a random weapon box uh, prize. <laughs> uh, then you can just start training here. Uh, as soon as they start running, you can do it. But a lot of the times, um, the zombies f force you to go up to where you buy the mule kick. So uh, at that point, you pretty much can't do anything, and you'll have to blast your way out. I found. So that you can't do anything about either, and you need to get really lucky with the max ammo and stuff. So anyway, this is the end, as you can see there, just owned by the zombies. So I'll see you at the next strategy. Hopefully, if well, if you try this and if you get to past round 25, then I'd be really impressed, and I'll give you a shout out in the next video. Only if you prove it though. <laughs> so yes, see ya.